Hi, welcome to my channel, The Divine Storm 369 Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me. And this is going to be a love reading between twin flames, okay, soulmates, um, whatever name you have for it, okay? Please keep in mind it is a general reading. Just take the messages as they personally resonate with you. Information for personal and private readings that are very detailed and specific to you are down below each video in the description box below, okay? Along with my email, so if you'd like to book a reading, um, all you have to do is email me and go from there. All right. Um, before we get started, please like the video and subscribe if you're not subscribed. Okay. So let's go ahead and start off here by pulling the mutual energy between um, the feminine and masculine energy for this reading. So Spirit, please reveal to me the mutual energy between the feminine and masculine in this reading. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull the feminine's energy towards the masculine and the masculine's energy towards the feminine. Okay, let's see what we got. We got the nine of wands. For the mutual energy, this tells me a little bit of the energy flow between you and what we would consider to be chemistry. So with the nine of wands, um, someone is very defensive here. Someone has a wall up, okay? And um, that wall, it's like it's made of brick, all right? Um, I think that you've tried um, to comfort them, to make them feel safe. Um, to let them know it's okay to let your guard down. It's okay to take your wall down, but it's like they don't, okay? So yeah, it's a masculine. They have a wall up. They're defensive, okay? We got the four of pentacles. They're stubborn. Taurus energy, okay? With the four of pentacles. Um, this is a masculine who is actually very insecure, but they don't show it. Okay, and I feel like they're insecure about their looks, all right? They're also insecure about um, money, all right, um, with Taurus energy. So they are insecure. Um, I feel that this masculine, instead of working on what they feel insecure, to, insecure about, they put a wall up. And this wall is impenetrable. No one can tell just how insecure they are. So instead of addressing it within themselves, they hide it, okay? And no one else can see this. And I feel like people even see them as controlling at times when in reality, I feel like they're not actually controlling. They actually have this guard up that they refuse to let down. And in that way, they are stubborn. In that way, they can be controlling. But it's all about keeping that barrier, keeping those defenses up, all right? So they are holding on to these insecurities. Feminine, we got the page of pentacles for you, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn energy. I tend to think of the page as Taurus, okay? But um, yeah, I feel like you've made them offers, feminine. I feel like you're offering something um helpful, something innocent, something very sweet. And I think you want to learn more about them because the pages are also about learning. So you want to learn about them and it feels impossible. You want to get to know them on a deeper level. Okay. What their likes are, what their dislikes are, um, what they love, what's their favorite food, what's their favorite color, you know, that type of energy. What are they attracted to? And it's like, they, it's so hard to do that with someone that has this wall up that is so defensive, okay? I also feel like there is this element of paranoid energy to them. So they can come across as paranoid um, as well, okay? Um, let's get another card here. Or the feminine energy towards the masculine. We got main woman. Okay. So with main woman coming out here, it did come out in reverse. 
So I think this is what this feminine wants, okay? This masculine has definitely attracted them, has caught their eye. And this feminine has been making offers, wanting to spend more time with them, wanting to get to know them, okay? And honestly, I feel like for this feminine, no one else has their attention the way this masculine does. No one else has drawn them in the way this masculine does. And this masculine might believe that they're not physically attractive. They might be very insecure about their looks or their money, but this feminine doesn't care about that. That has not crossed this divine feminine's mind right here. It has not crossed their mind how much money you have. It has not crossed their mind um, that you could be more attractive. Okay, so that is shallow energy. And to this feminine, it feels very shallow. Okay. So this is a feminine who's like, I don't want you for your money. I don't want you for your looks, okay? I want you because I'm drawn towards you. I'm curious about you. I want to know more. There's something about you that draws me in, that captures me. And um, I like your energy. I like your essence. I want to know more, all right? So let's take a look at the masculine's energy towards their feminine. We have chaser, okay? So honestly, this masculine is used to feminines chasing them is what I'm seeing here, okay? So they're used to the chase. They're used to running, all right? And honestly, they're again, they're not running from these feminines. They're actually running from their insecurities. They're afraid that you're going to uncover them. They're afraid that you're going to see beyond those defenses, that wall they put up energetically around them, okay? And you're going to see what's behind it. They're afraid you're going to notice those insecurities and decide that that's it, that they are defective or flawed in some way and decide that you don't want them. So for them, it's better to run. Um, it's better to let people chase you because they never really catch you. They never really see beyond that point you don't want them to see. And this is a game. This is a game of insecurity for this masculine. All right, they have a history of doing this, I feel as well. So why do they do that? Because of the insecurities. Okay, they're afraid for you to see them. They're afraid for anyone else to see them. Okay. It's like they feel like if you see them or anyone else sees them, then you guys will think less of them or you won't like them anymore. You won't want them anymore. They won't hold value to you anymore. All right. And this is self-esteem issues. They don't see the value in their true self. So let's get another card here for the feminine energy towards the masculine. We got ascending. All right. And the masculine's energy towards the feminine, we got shadow work. So they're running from their shadow work. And, you know, we did see in a collective reading that a large part, I'm not going to say all of them, I don't believe that all masculines go through everything at the same time and vice versa. But I do believe that there's collective energies that do affect us all differently. And the kind of proof of that is astrology, right? Like we might have, my son is in the fifth house, right? But your son might be in the third house, okay? Which means that, you know, our soul purpose has different meanings. We're here for different reasons. We enjoy different things. Um, you know, um, we communicate differently, but our, you know, we both have a, the sun in our placements. It just means something different for all of us, right? So that's the way I kind of look at it. So we did see that a large part of the masculine collective was going through an energy of facing their shadow, okay? Uncovering the shadow work and needing to face it. So I feel like some of them, have ascended through it. Some of them have not, okay? Some of them are still stuck in the shadow work. Some of them are running from it. 
like this masculine here, okay, they are shrouding themselves in their insecurities like a cloak, okay? Their defenses are the cloak. The insecurities are what's underneath, all right? But really, it's so plain to see, honestly, because anyone who is running from anything is actually running from themselves and a part of themselves. So we got ascending here. Feminine, I think that what you're offering is beautiful. What you're actually offering this masculine is ascension, transcension, okay? Um, out of this energy where they're cloaked, okay, where they have kind of shielded themselves and ran away from so many experiences that they could have had, right? Um, so they haven't made much progress spiritually. Um, because they've been running and focused on running for a large part of that instead of focusing inward, focusing on shadow works and what you're trying to hide and um, getting through it, right? So what you're offering them is ascension, okay? Here's you holding this and then you're making the offer, right? And then this is the ball that's in your hand, Okay, it's the sun, it's ascension, it's realization, it's awareness of those insecurities, it's awareness that that's within you, it's not within anybody else. That is what this feminine is really offering, a chance to transcend with this feminine, to have someone have your back, to have someone help you through the shadow work. So what this feminine is offering is beautiful, okay? All right, so Spirit, tell me about the shadow work. Let's see, what card should we use? Let's, let's get a trigger card. We're going to get a trigger card, and then we'll get a Masculine Madness card to go along with it. Spirit, tell me about this shadow work. Karmic staying is toxic. This was a lesson. Leave. All right, so this masculine is dealing with a very karmic situation. It could be a karmic partner. It could be a different situation, but whatever it is, they haven't left it behind. Okay, so they're still dealing with that. All right, let's get one more. What is this karmic situation, spirit? We got bad behaviors. Okay. So falling back into old habits. This masculine, again, they have a history of running. All right. They have a history of shielding themselves. I feel like it's, you know, a very sheltered energy. Like they have just sheltered and shielded themselves so that no one sees the things they're insecure about. They might have also developed some very bad toxic, karmic behaviors that are no good for them, okay? And this is in order to cope with what they're feeling. And really, they're coping with running, okay? Because facing um, those behaviors, facing your fears is actually healing. You realize that it's not quite as scary as you thought, or maybe it is, but you get through it and you become a better person at the end of it. And so when you run, you develop... Um, unhealthy habits. I can also see there's something in this masculine's past uh, that they have struggled with. This is a habit or a behavior, okay, that they've struggled with and it's been toxic for them. Let's see if we can get some more info here. Oh my gosh, we got I'm no good, toxic. Oh my gosh. So this is a type of energy to where you've, you're you like, I'm no good. I can't even face myself. I'm living in the dark. I'm living in the shadows. I'm this insecure about um, how I look. I don't look the way I want to look. Um, I'm not attractive like other people. This is the masculine I'm, I'm channeling. I'm not attractive like other people. 
Um, maybe they feel like other people are taller than them. Maybe they feel like other people um, have better hair than them or better skin than them or um, have money to spend on their appearance since we have financial situations tying in here. Okay, so they feel like I'm no good. Um, no one would want me if they see these insecurities. No one would want me if they see the real me. Okay, I'm toxic. So I'm going to go ahead and do these no good behaviors, right? I'm going to go ahead and fall into this toxic behavior. So whatever that may be. I don't feel it's a third party in this moment, okay? This is a behavior or habit. So this is a general reading. So I try to keep it as general as possible, but you guys know me. Um, I'm always coming out with the details, um, but I do want the reading to resonate with as many as possible, okay? Um, again, that's why I'm like, just take the details as they personally resonate. All right, I feel like this honestly is, um, it could be an addiction, all right? It could be something that they used to do that isn't healthy um, in order to cope. This could be like a situation where there is like self-harm, okay? Or um, something that you do that is harmful to your health, like fighting maybe, you know? Um, something like that. So let's get another card here. Spirit, tell me more. Let's get a karmic card because it's a karmic behavior. It is a karmic habit. So they've acquired this habit through running. Okay. And it's become karmic because of that. All right. Because they weren't facing their fears. They weren't facing um, the cause and effects of their life. They were just running. Spirit, tell me more about this bad behavior, this old habit. What is this habit? We got divorce. What is this habit? This could be an ex. Naughty pictures. Another woman. Okay, so I feel like this is an ex. Okay, it definitely could be a karmic partner. This is someone they have already split up with or divorced from legally. All right. Um, is what I'm getting here. And it was very toxic. This relationship was known to be very, very toxic. And a part of them honestly felt like this is what they deserved being in this relationship. Their insecurities chose this person. They didn't choose this person. Their insecurities did because they felt like this is what they deserved. Okay, this is an ex, okay? This is someone they have separated from or divorced from. But every time this masculine hits a low point, it seems they run back to them. This is their insecurities running back to them, saying, I deserve this. This is what I deserve. I don't deserve um, anything less toxic than this relationship. Therefore, I'm going back. They know my insecurities. They know it. And it's not true. They deserve so much more. Their insecurities are choosing their actions, choosing who they're with. And it creates a toxic, karmic situation. Okay, that's exactly what we have here. So now they've got themselves wrapped up in a karmic situation with an ex that is no good, that everybody knows is no good. And I feel like everyone is completely shocked every time this masculine is with this karmic. Because it always ends up the same. It always ends up toxic. All right. And we'll do a little read on that whole relationship towards the end of this, or I'll go ahead and do a part two for that, okay? For anyone who's interested... Spirit, please reveal to me the thoughts that this feminine here has towards this masculine. I feel you're both earth signs, okay? Spirit, please reveal to me what does this feminine think about this masculine? What is on her mind? 
Spirit, please reveal to me what is this feminine's emotions about this masculine? What is she truly feeling? Wow, Queen of Wands. Spirit, please reveal to me um, the intentions this feminine has towards the masculine. Okay, Spirit, please reveal to me the actions they will take. Spirit, please reveal to me the masculine's true thoughts towards this feminine. What are they really thinking? Rejection in reverse. Spirit, please reveal to me the emotions the masculine feels towards his feminine. Spirit, please reveal to me the intentions this masculine has with this feminine. What is his real intentions? Ooh, two knights. Spirit, please reveal to me the actions that this masculine is going to take towards their feminine. Okay. All right. So now we have all our cards out here. Feminine, we're going to start with you. Um, you got cold as ice in your thoughts. You're like, man, are you serious? Like, masculine, you are cold. You are cold as ice, cold like an ice cube. You are inconsiderate, okay? You do not sit there and take a moment to think about how I feel, all right, when I offer you um, my time, when I offer you my emotions, when I offer you help with whatever it is, and you run away, okay? You reject it. You make me feel rejected. You constantly give me mixed signals. You're constantly back and forth. It's inconsiderate. So do you ever for a moment stop to think about how I feel, what I think about this behavior, what's running through my mind? I don't think you do. But if you want to know, it's damn, that's cold masculine. Okay. Those are your thoughts, feminine. Those are your thoughts. Like, really? Okay. Let's get another card here for your thoughts towards the masculine fights. All right. So this inconsiderate behavior does lead to some fights, to some arguments, not physical fights or anything like that. Okay. But it's because you care, feminine. Every time you try to get close to them, every time you try to figure out what is going on, because they say they're not rejecting you. They do say that they want you, that they're not resisting this connection. But time and time again, they make you feel rejected. Time and time again, um, they run away. And so you're like, what's up, masculine? Why are you running? Okay, I'm just trying to figure out what's going on with you. Okay, and it isn't because I don't care about you. It's because I do care. Okay, if I didn't, I wouldn't be here asking you about this. Do you realize you're inconsiderate? Do you realize you give me mixed signals? What do you want? That's what your arguments are about. Honestly, probably you have said those words, feminine, or very close to them. Let's get another one here for your thoughts towards the masculine barrier. It's about this barrier, this boundary that they have put up. Okay, and you're hoping that um, these arguments that addressing it, the situation will knock this barrier down, right? Like you could just punch through it. But no, it doesn't because they run off with it. They run off with the barrier. They take the whole barrier, the wall, everything with them. Okay. So this masculine says, no, feminine, I'm not rejecting you. Okay. I'm not rejecting you. You're misinterpreting it. 
All right. No, no, no. It's not rejection. It's not rejection. All right. They are very much in their ego. They do not realize how their behavior makes you feel. All right. Um, they're so worried about running away and hiding their insecurities that they don't even, you're right. They don't even stop and take a moment to recognize how their back and forth behavior makes you feel feminine. So let's get another card here for their thoughts towards you. We have choices. Trying to make the right choice so I don't have regrets tomorrow. This is what they tell you. I'm not rejecting you. I just need to make the right choice. Okay? I just don't want to have any regrets tomorrow. Okay? They always have an excuse. All right? So this isn't a rejection. I'm still trying to decide what I want, where I go from here. All right? But they're back and forth. There's always an excuse and there's always a door and there's always a barrier for you to cross feminine when really they could just unlock it. They could just open the door, but no, they're keeping everything locked inside. Let's get another card for their thoughts towards you. Okay, so they do want to be with you. They want to take you up on your offer. Okay, they want to accept you. But they're afraid of having regrets. They're afraid of feeling even worse about themselves. See, I feel like this masculine, when they make a wrong choice, and I feel like in their past, this is what Spirit is telling me, in their past, they have been condemned and like really persecuted for making mistakes or making wrong decisions when they were very young, which all of us make mistakes. That's how we learn, right? And, um, we learn it and we're accepted and we're supported, but this masculine didn't get accept, accepted and supported when they made a mistake. So they're like terrified of making another mistake. And so I think that they run. They run. They have a wall up. They run. Um, they never make any decisions. They never make a choice. They fall back into old habits, old patterns, and old cycles time after time again. In your heart, feminine, we have the Queen of Wands, Fire Energy, Leo Energy, Saggy, Aries. You're very creative. Okay. I think you're extremely creative. You're passionate. Okay. Um, you're extremely sexually attracted to this masculine you cannot understand why the heck they see themselves as unattractive because this person um really sparks your fire sparks your flame your desire for them um and you wish they could see that you wish that they could see how attractive they really are through your eyes okay um so in your mind you want to be mad at them cold as ice in your mind but that fire in your heart it melts all of that ice in your mind so you can't stay mad at this person even though you've tried and even though you want to be mad at this person it's like you can't stay mad okay um but yeah you're like how do they not understand that they are the most attractive person to me that um, I really desire them. I feel passionately about them. I'm so attracted to them. How do they not get that? So let's get another card here for how you feel towards some um, feminine. We got target. Okay. I'm strategizing to win. I won't miss my target this time. All right. So with the fighting, every time you bring something up to them, you know, it just, it feels like you have a target on your back. Like it's constant fighting. Okay. But I will say this feminine is a feminine who knows what they want. You're someone who follows um, your desire, your passion. You're someone who follows your heart. 
okay? You know exactly what you want. And from the moment you first saw this masculine, you knew you wanted them. Not only did you know you want them, but you knew that they were the only one you wanted. No one else comes close to them. No one else compares to them. And the desire you feel and that you've ever felt for anyone else pales compared to it. It doesn't even burn a third of as hot as how you feel towards them, okay? And so you really wish you could explain that to them. I think you wish that you could tell them this. We have big dreams here. Okay. So with big dreams here, I think that, you know, you might be having dreams about this person. And definitely I'm seeing very sexual dreams as well. Um, dreams that are very intense. That feels very, very real. Okay, and um, I think that in those dreams, your masculine is confident. It's like they know how sexy they are. They know how much you desire them. And um, and then you wake up and it's like they, they're so insecure. They've got this wall up. It feels like they're rejecting you time and time again. But it's like that feeling that's there in your heart. You know they feel it too, okay? Um, and there's times in your dreams where it feels like they're really there with you, next to you. There's times you wake up with goosebumps um, in the middle of a dream, right? So it feels so, so very real. And you do know at a level, at the astral level, it is real, okay? But you have expectations. You expect... Okay, that this masculine can open up, can help you to grow this relationship. You expect that they can stop running, okay? Um, those are your expectations. And it's not too much to ask, but they make you feel like it is. So we have for the emotions the masculine feels, we got Knight of Swords. This is a knee-jerk reaction to reject you. It is not anything they have thought about. And so when they use the excuse, I'm sorry, I just have to make the right decision. I don't want to have regrets. Um, this is code for I don't want to hurt my insecurities any further. I don't want another one to carry around in my bag of insecurities, right? So with the Knight of Swords, they reject everything. It is a knee-jerk reaction. They don't even think about it, okay? It doesn't even cross their mind until you bring it up to them or until much later, um, the way that it affects you because they are so afraid and so focused on running from their insecurities. And I think that a lot of times this person has a tendency to put their foot in their mouth. Okay. Um, their actions don't line up with their words, right? Like they'll run away. They'll reject you and say, no, I didn't reject you. I, I didn't mean it that way because they're not being aware of their actions. All right, so they need to stop and really contemplate their actions before they do it, okay? How will this action affect this feminine? What will they think, okay? Um, how would I feel if they did that to me? That type of energy, okay? Um, is really what they need to be more aware, okay? That is true awareness of others true empathy how would i feel if that happened to me and it's a very simple question that we can all use in our everyday life right and everyone can use a little bit of empathy so let's get another card here for their emotions towards you feminine awakened love what did i tell you this is clarifying what i just said so it's not conscious Okay, they're not making these decisions and doing this uh, through a conscious decision. It is a knee-jerk reaction, okay? Because you are someone who can actually get through that barrier and they know it. They know it and they're afraid of that, all right? 
They understand that they are falling in love with you. Okay, they feel it. They feel it when they're around you, that chemistry, that fire, that passion, the goosebumps that run up and down your spine. It is not just you. It's them as well. You don't feel like that when it's one way. Okay, it goes both ways. All right. And um, that is the energy you're feeling, those goosebumps. All right. It is real. It is both ways. So what do they do? Put on the armor. Look, the knights full of armor. All right. And what they really need to do is drop the armor, drop the act. Okay. Um, let's get another card for their emotions towards you. Divine masculine. Okay. Look at that. We have the divine masculine present and this clarifies it. So this is in their process of awakening. And like I said, some of the masculines have been running from the shadow work they need to do. And shadow work is always something karmic that is within us that we have been afraid to face or that seems scary to face. It's really, really like facing your fears. Okay. Um, and it's healing to do so. Right. And it actually is very empowering. And we step into our power when we do that, when we heal those karmic things, those wounds, those shadow works right inside of us. And um, it turns into something karmic to something um, beautiful, okay, to something destined. It turns from dark to light, okay, and it unlocks paths for us, definitely in our physical life, Um so that's what I see happening for this masculine, all right? But they have to become aware. And notice all these little, sh like, electricity lights around them, like little shocks coming in. That's the chemistry between you, feminine. So, again, it's not just felt with you. They feel it, all right? They feel it strongly. They're afraid of that feeling because they know it's time. It's time to let the wall down. So what did they do? Run back to the karmic, hiding inside of the insecurities. It's like completely a physical manifestation of their insecurities and cloaking themselves in it. All right. They have a tendency to do this. All right. They've done this for a while. So we have in your intentions, feminine, you're just focused on money right now. Okay. Um, and I think you've noticed that they were financially insecure or they felt insecure about their money or how much money they make or what they have. You have noticed that they felt insecure about that. And I think that you try, um, not to make them feel that way. And I think you feel bad that they feel that way. And I think you have offered to help them with money, but it's like, they took that as an insult or they took that as, um, you know, at least they acted like it was an insult. I need to get a drink one second. And they rejected that. Okay. So you're like, is this really affecting our con connection? And I feel like maybe you make more money than them and they feel insecure about that. Okay. So feminine, I think that you're meaning to talk to them about it, but you don't want an argument, okay? You don't want them to run away again. Did you guys hear that? I don't know what just happened, but something just like fell off somewhere in the room, like a little pebble or a crystal. But anyways, um, what was I even saying here? So yeah, there's insecurities surrounding money. And I think that you really bring that out in them because I think you make more money than them. But um, I think you're meant to bring up that insecurity. I think that's part of the reason why you're together, right? Because they need to know that your value, your worth as a person, as a human being, and um, in a relationship does not equate to how much money you make, right?
And I think we've lived in a world in a system that really reinforces that insecurity for far too long, right? Like, um, yeah, it doesn't, how much money you make. I, 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 I've I, seen a lot of people personally equate people's value um, to money and it's not right and it's not the way it should be done. And I think that we've been living in the system for far too long that does that. And um, it does create insecurities such as this. Okay. It also creates people who are willing to steal, to destroy lives in order to get to the top because in their mind, money is all that matters. Money um, values your worth. And I think that we need to move away from that mindset, right? Money is simply a currency. It is an energy. Okay. It is equivalent to like a gas that keeps us moving, keeps us going right? To, until we get to where we want to go. So money is never the end game. Money is the investment to get where you want to go, right? That's how we should look at it. So let's go ahead and take a look further feminine at your intentions towards them. We got not for you, okay? So with the red light here, with not for you, I think that feminine, you've just decided to focus on, um, you're going to talk to them, okay, about this, but I think that um, you've decided that maybe they don't want to be with you. Yes, your feelings, your heart, your spirit tells you something different, and they even tell you something different, but their actions speak louder than words when they run away. So I think you're just focusing on your money right now, okay? And and you want to have this talk with them, and that's all you can do, all right? Um, and I think that it sucks. It does hurt you to think that the simple fact that you might make more than them financially um, is the reason why they don't want to be with you. And that's what you're thinking. I'm channeling your energy, and that really kind of hurts, okay? So let's get another card here. And again, that's not it. That is not the case, but that's what it feels like to you. So you're just trying to refocus. You're refocusing your energy on money, on your career, all right, um, on your job, whatever it is, all right? So yeah, it's like you're trying to keep your mind busy. And for the masculine's intentions, they, um, they want to take things very slow, okay? They do want a connection. All right. This is like, you, have you ever seen like a scared, like one of those scared, timid animals who like um, maybe is like trapped or something somewhere? I don't know if you've seen like one in real life or like a video that you've tried to help. And, you know, at first they might try to like bite you, you know, or run away because they're very scared. But then once they see that they can trust you, they warm up to you or might even become friends with you, you know. Um, and that's like kind of the energy I'm picking up with this masculine. OK, so they do want to let you in on these insecurities, but they want you to know it's very hard for them and that it might take a little bit of time that they want to let them out a little at a time um, and Kind of watch your reactions to know that you could still love them, even if you see the insecurities inside of them. Okay, so they want to take things very slow. And um, they're hoping that you can have patience with them. So slow, steady, and stable. That's what they want. By the way, I have Aquarius here. I have Capricorn. I have Libra and Gemini. And I am more Taurus and I have Virgo. Spirit, tell me more about the emotions the masculine really feels towards their feminine. Also, they see you as someone they can depend on, someone they can rely on. Okay, they're just afraid that they'll lose you and they won't have that anymore. That you might see something in them that's so um, flawed that you won't even want them anymore. They're afraid of this. Okay. Let's take another look here for the emotions. All right. 
We got deception and I've lied to you because I'm afraid of the choices you'll make. All right. I have rejected you. I have deceived you. I'm not really rejecting you, but yeah, it feels like I am. So I have been deceiving myself. I have been deceiving you, right? This is their energy I'm channeling because it's a knee jerk reaction. I don't mean to do it, right? Um, and maybe I'm trying to push you away, right? Maybe I'm trying to push you away because I'm afraid, because I know that. You see right through to me, to my soul. You see the real me. And I know that. I feel that in your presence. And I know there's really no lying to you. I know that you see through to my soul, to my core. But I'm afraid if you see the real me, then you won't want me. And that's exactly what they're saying. Okay. So purge, this is what needs to take place, a purging of the deception, a purging of the insecurities, okay? And this masculine right now, believe it or not, is going through a spiritual and energetic purge. The purge right now is getting rid of the deception, okay? And feminine, you have a large role that you're playing in that. And I don't think you actually realize what a large role that you're playing, okay? Because you are the light bringer in the situation. You are the truth bringer. You are bringing the ascension. You are bringing the awareness. You are awakening their soul to something deeper and to a truth that can't be um, denied. It cannot be ignored because it's felt so deeply. All right. And um, so you are bringing them this gift. All right, you are actually activating the spiritual purge, right? By bringing up the issues um, that you feel rejected, bringing up the mixed signals, okay? You're bringing up and making them more aware of how their actions, their energies um, affect others. And that's where it starts, okay? So we have a spiritual purge going on. So what is the spiritual purge? Let's pull a trigger card for it. All right. Spirit, what are they purging? Clarify what else they are purging. What is going on here with this? All right. So they are purging all false sense of happiness and joy. Okay. So anything karmic that any bad habit, any old behavior that they've fallen into, any karmic relationships that has given them a false sense of happiness or security, they are purging, okay? Anything that they have been deceiving themselves about um, within themselves or outside of themselves, they are purging, okay? All deceptions, they are purging. They are letting go of it. And it is a process. Do not get me wrong. All spiritual work is a process, okay? So the actions you want to take, feminine, we have long wait in reverse. You don't want to wait forever, okay? Um, you're not really willing to put your life on hold. So right now, you're just refocusing your energy, all right? You know this is going to take a while. They haven't really shown a whole lot of progress, right? So that's what we have with long wait here. And you're like, you know, maybe I, I'll wait so long. And then maybe if they don't come around, maybe it's not for me. Maybe it's never been for me. Right. But you're not someone who is willing to put your life on hold. So let's get another card here for the actions you want to take towards some. We have self-love and, you know, that's the decision that you're making out of self-love, okay? That you are not going to compromise yourself, your money, your career, um, your self-love, your confidence, anything for this relationship. So, you know, at a soul level, if this person wants you to compromise any of those things, maybe they're just not for you and that's okay. All right. And so this is what you want to let them know. Look, if you don't want to be with me, that's okay. All right. I understand. All right. But I'm not going to put my life on hold and wait around for you forever. All right. Because feminine, you um, 
have made, you have learned to make your happiness a priority. And you know, you're trying to give that gift to this masculine. You're trying to help them with that. But if they don't unwrap the gift, if they don't receive the gift, then it's, you know, what good is it? All right, let's get another card here for the actions you want to take towards them. Release. So, yeah, you are ready and willing and prepared to release this. Okay. All they have to do is tell you. All right. You're not willing to chase them forever. And you don't want to be like someone who is chasing and clinging on to someone, you know, when they don't really want you. All right. So all they have to do is say the word. And if their actions, Knight of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, continue the way that it has been, then you're going to take that as their answer. All right. And it feels like the same thing to do at this point because feminine, you're like what's meant to be will be. Wow, look what we got here, you guys. I did not see this till I flipped this over, but now we have divine counterparts here. We have the King of Wands and we have the Queen of Wands. So what did I tell you, feminine? That attraction, that passion is real. Okay, it is felt by both of you. The goosebumps. You guys are soulmates. You guys are the twin flames. The king and the queen of fire. The king and the queen of wands. Okay, the torches, the flames, the highest form of masculine and feminine energy embodying the divine will. That is what the fire is. That is the flame. So make no mistake, you are soulmates. You are twin flames. They do know this. They know this at a soul level. And boy, um, does it scare them? <laughs> Boy, does it scare them. Okay. So when you meet your twin flame, it can be very shocking. It does awaken all kinds of energies inside of you that, um, you didn't know was there and energies that you've been using as a crutch or as any sort of form of comfort get stirred up, get taken away. And energies that are um, seen as a challenge to you or maybe even a fear you get confronted with. And this is what happens when you meet your twin flame. Okay. Um, but it oftentimes does change people's lives. And that's what I see here. Okay. So I see this is changing this masculine's life. They are stepping into their king of wands self. Okay. Let's get another card for um, the masculine's actions they want to take towards their feminine. And you know, King of Wands, this is manning up. This is, listen, I've got to man up. I have got to face my feelings. I have got to face the truth. And I have got to express it. I've got to express it deeply, passionately, because honestly, I've put my twin flame through so much, so much. So, feminine, the actions they're going to take, this is going to surprise you. They're going to take you up on an offer. They're going to say, you know what? I think I'm going to take charge here in this relationship. All right. Um, let's go out. Let's um, have a drink, right? Let's have a little bit of fun together. Let's talk. All right. You can ask me whatever you want to know. Let's spend the night together. Let's have fun. Let's express this passion, this desire that we feel. Okay, I'm willing. I'm open. I'm ready for this. Okay, I'm ready to open my heart. I'm ready for intimacy. So, wow, I wasn't expecting that feminine right when you are like, okay, um, I'll just focus elsewhere. Right when you refocus your energy, here they show up on your doorstep or on a text like, let's go out. Okay, I'm yours for the night, that type of energy. I am yours for the night. Let's get another card here. Yes, look at that. They're ready to take some action. They're ready to spread their wings a little bit and 
lie and see things from a higher perspective. So that's a really beautiful energy. Feminine, get ready, okay? You have a date with this masculine, all right? So when exactly is this going to happen? Let's see if we can get a time frame. Spirit, please reveal to me clearly. Can you give me a time frame? When is this going to happen? Oh my gosh. Okay, look at that. For some of you, it's going to be one day. For some of you, it's going to be one week. No less than one week. Okay. So beautiful. I love that. And look, the wands, the fire, the passion, the divine will. I love it. So... What does spirit want to tell you about this connection? All right. Look at that. Very beautiful. We have a look inside yourself. All right. So feminine, you want to walk away. You want to give up. All right. You might be getting angry. You might feel like this is madness. This is crazy. You're not going to continue it. But Spirit is asking you to just stop for a moment, okay, and look inside yourself. Examine what is causing you to feel this way, okay, fully. Absolutely examine how you're feeling. And this masculine is going to do this too, okay? Let's get one more. Okay, so look, examine your heart, feminine. And here's, this is an exercise, actually, Spirit is giving you. So examine what is causing you to feel this way, um, those negative feelings that you don't want, right? Now, take those feelings and remember, when you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul, the joy, and the happiness, and the love, and the memories that you've shared with those that you love, so all of those memories that are negative that you have just pulled up and examined, they can go. They can go now because you're not going to hold on to them forever. All right. They're not substantial. They don't mean as much, right, as love. Um, and if they're making you feel bad, if they are negative, let them go. All right. So this is an exercise that you can have. Maybe you can replace them with positive thoughts or loving thoughts, even if they're about yourself or someone else. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look at what does this masculine really want to say to his feminine heart to heart? What do they want to say? Let's see. Let me pull up some message cards here. Spirit, what does this masculine want to say to this feminine heart to heart? What do they want to say? Okay, we have <laughs> talk dirty to me. It doesn't surprise me. Okay, listen, feminine, they're ready to talk. All right, but they don't just want to talk. They want you to talk as well. And I feel like this masculine, they might be actually like into dirty talk, like that type of energy. Um, and, um, you know, it could be an exercise to really like make them feel very accepted. You know what I mean? Like that type of thing. And then we have you just wait and see. Oh, my gosh, feminine. They are planning something for you that is very intimate, very passionate. And I think you're going to be very surprised because this masculine is going to go from someone who's running away, who is not talking about their feelings to someone who's coming in very strong. OK, so that's the reading that I have for you. And we're going to go ahead and pause and then we're going to move into this karmic situation. OK. OK, so this is going to be a quick run through of this karmic energy, but we're going to do a more in-depth karmic reading later. OK, so let's go ahead and take a look. Spirit, show me what's going on with this karmic situation. Show me what's going on with this karmic situation, this person. 
All right, we have ax to the grind, of course, running away. We have commitment. So this is a commitment that used to be, all right, so there was like a legal divorce or a separation between them. We have reaching out um, in reverse. So I feel like, yeah, this is like situations where it always ends badly between them, but for some reason, they always like come back together when, when they want when things seem too hard, when they're running away from their insecurities, and I feel like they were toxic for each other, they really feed each other's insecurities and toxic energy. They feed each other's bad habits and bad behaviors, okay? So let's go ahead and get another card. Intentions, all right? So this karmic does not have the best intentions, for this masculine and I think that they don't even realize that so they don't realize this karmic does not have good intentions okay um and I think this masculine is not even stopped to think about that let's get a karmic card okay we got family so they might have children together Okay, um, but I think there was a divorce or a separation because it just was not good. It was very toxic. Um, and we have money spells. All right, so I think that also this karmic really puts them in a mindset of lack um, with the whole insecurity about money. I also think that this could be a situation where the masculine... Um, owes money for child support or maybe the karmic you know um takes a lot of money for them that's what i'm seeing okay um but yeah they don't have good intentions i think this karmic also uses them for money whenever they come around okay so let's take a look at the karmic energy ten of swords aquarius so yeah this has been over a long time ago and it will be over again okay um the next time it's over i feel like this won't be repeated again and i really feel like that's why this feminine is coming into this masculine's life at this time offering them this awareness this ascension right so this time when it's over it's over and we're going to go more in depth into the karmic reading later. But for now, this is the end of this reading. Please, you guys, like the video, share, subscribe, leave me a comment down below. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.